I felt like the Lord wanted me to do it. And I was like, no, I don't want to give up my hamburgers and my Chick-fil-A and my Whataburger. Well, I had to get it up, give it up anyways because I live in Alaska. Keto diet. <laughs> Dude, the wind is so strong right now. It is literally freaking me out. Okay, so the wind was super strong. Like, oh, breath of God. Usually when I do my time lapses, I like pray or worship or trying to think of what I'm gonna say, but literally the wind was so strong. I was like kneeled down trying to hold onto the camera and I'm like yelling out, I fear you God, I worship you. Cause you're supposed to have a healthy, you know, fear of the Lord and I'm screaming out, I fear you Jesus. And all of a sudden I hear this like car door slam below me underneath the bridge was like a car. This guy's like rolling up his window and I'm like, <laughs> I thought I was in you know, Alaska wilderness by myself and there ain't nobody around worshiping Jesus. Okay, anyways, it was just funny. Look how beautiful that is! If you're watching this video on Monday the 27th, I would have been on keto since, for, for 24 days now. Solid. And to really show that I was serious about doing keto, I started on July the 4th. So I could be free from my fat. <laughs> if you guys are interested in keto or have any questions, uh, write a comment below. But pretty much I get all of my recipes from my food experience on Instagram. I used to work with her back in Texas and she makes the most amazing dishes ever keto friendly please check her out follow her share her page because she has helped me so much in the last well several years because once i started working with her and she was telling me about keto and i'm like yeah right as i eat my pizza I felt like the Lord wanted me to do it. And I was like, no, I don't want to give up my hamburgers and my Chick-fil-A and my Whataburger. Well, I had to get it up, give it up anyways because I live in Alaska. I was thinking about like when I first got saved and I gave my life to Jesus and I got set free from addictions and anxiety and self-hatred and all of these different things that I thought was just going to be my life forever. Well, I guess I'm just going to drink 30 beers a night. I didn't drink that much. I drank like 15 a night though. I drank a lot. It's two packs of cigarettes a day. That's a lot of cigarettes. <laughs> That's why I run all the time. Anyways, and I just like these certain things where I'm like, oh, this is just gonna be a part of my life. And then you get saved, you get rid of all like the crazy stuff and then you start like being addicted to other stuff like Facebook or Instagram or TV or video games. And you just think, well, this is a, kind of how my, I'm gonna live the rest of my life, you know? I'm gonna always eat burgers and pizzas and chocolates and I'm gonna drink soda. And the Lord really put it on my heart to like, man, you need to do keto, man. You need to be set free from some of this food you're just eating. I think different parts of our life, God is constantly wanting us to get better at. You know, I think a lot of times as Christians, like, well, you know, I don't get hammered anymore, or I overcame pornography, or hey, I don't cheat on my wife, I'm good, you know. But I think also in little things, God wants us to be set free from, including our diet, including with our kids, and to be a better husband, or a better wife, or a better father, a better brother, a better grandpa, a better aunt, a better uncle, a better friend, a better co-worker. And that's the reason why I chose on the 4th of July to say, man, I'm, I'm tired of just being bloated, chunky chunkies all the time and just 
gorging myself with uh, cereal and okay when you eat like three bowls of cereal at 11 o'clock at night that's not good for you and so I a lot of times I think what helps me to be free from certain things or to make a commitment is to make a public announcement. And that's, I think, the main reason why I was able to run 137 days in a row is because I put it on Facebook, hey, I'm going to do this. And I think that's the reason why I went 24 days of keto. It's like, hey, I'm going to do this. And I think that's the reason why I finally made it public on YouTube or uh, Instagram, or wherever I said it. It's like, hey, I'm going to put out a video every Monday. And so I just challenge you to do that. If you want to be set free from something, you need help why don't you not tell someone else that's eating chunky chunky donuts at 11 o'clock okay there's not wrong uh, whatever your convictions are you know if if you're convicted in an area like man i really need to read more dude i hate reading i need to read more i'm not making a decoration right now that's I'm, I'll maybe later but that's something i feel like god is constantly like you need to get better at this i think the next thing is to read you know obviously the bible but like different literature to, to feed my mind because I want to be a pastor one day and I need illustrations and applications and stuff like that. So anyways, man, I constantly say this, but I want to partner with you guys. If you need help or encouragement, it's like, man, hold me to this. Dude, write me a message or write it in the comments below and have other people cheer you on. And I just want to say we do this together. I'm not going up there. I'm just... It's just really pretty. Anyways, hey, thank you so much for watching this video. I love you guys very much. Share this video with someone you love or don't love. I'm gonna pray for you real quick. Father God, in the name of Jesus, you're awesome, God. If you are calling the viewer of this video to do something, Father, to better themselves, to be set free from something, Lord, I ask you that you give them the strength in the name of Jesus to do that. Father God, you have made us to be the head and not the tail, above only, never beneath, first, not last, victors, no longer victims. You cause the mountains and the hills to break forth in the singing and the trees of the field to clap their hands as the people of God go forth with joy. In the matchless name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. I love you guys. I'll see you next Monday. So this is what I want to climb one day. And just to give you perspective of what I climbed last week is this little teeny tiny little hill.